Today we're gonna to make roasted beef tenderloin. What we're gonna do is show you how to sear it off and finish it in the oven. Starting off at Avon Prime Meats, when you come in and buy tenderloin, you get it trimmed and tied, as you see here. All the fat's taken off, all the silver skin's taken off, only the good stuff is left. So when you come in and purchase it, this is what you'll receive. Now this is a half of one. Uh, normally a whole tenderloin would be double this size. For today's purposes, we're gonna show you that you can get it in any size. You don't just have to buy a full tenderloin. So the first thing, uh, very important in part in doing uh, almost anything that's roasted is, is the initial sear. Um, you can certainly use cast iron. You could use a skillet. It really doesn't matter. The most important thing is that it gets extremely hot before you do it. So in order to prepare the tenderloin, now that it's all cleaned, we're just gonna take, we're just gonna throw a little olive oil on it. Just kinda get a little moist. And we're gonna take nothing more than salt and pepper. You can certainly go crazy if you want. You can certainly do any other thing that you want. You wanna add garlic, you wanna add other, any other herbs. You can do that. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of truffle butter and garlic at the end. Um, so for, for just this initial step, we're gonna take it and sear it off. This is gonna go about three, about three minutes each side. So basically what that's gonna do is that's gonna start the process, sear it, make a crust on the outside. Okay, now that you've seared your tenderloin, we take it, we put it right on a baking dish and into the oven. This is gonna roast in the oven at 375, probably about 20 minutes. Now again, this is only a three or two to two pound roast. If we end up going, if you end up bigger roast, three or four pounds, then you're gonna talk a little bit more. Now that the, the, the roast is in the oven, we're gonna make a sauce for this. Making a sauce for this could be anything that under the sun, whatever you're in the mood for. You wanna go aromatics, rosemary, thyme, garlic. You could go, you could do other things. You could go uh, just like make a butter, which is what we're gonna do. Any kind of butter, garlic butter, lemon butter, you name it. So what we're gonna do today is I'm making a quick truffle butter. So we already have truffle butter in the store that we sell already prepared. It's ready to go. So this is gonna be nothing more than garlic butter is gonna go in the pan. Then we're gonna take a little, once that melts down a little bit, we're gonna take and we're gonna saute a little garlic in there. Making butters is the easiest thing you can do to top things with. We're gonna cut it a little bit with just a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna toss a little bit of parsley in there. Just a little more salt and pepper. And again, at this point, you can do anything. You could, you could, you wanna go red wine, you could do, do anything you want as far as putting up a sauce together for this. Okay, after, again, the best way to tell roast is by a, by a probe thermometer. Um, 130, being medium rare, this is about 130. Most important part of this is letting it rest. So you're gonna let it rest, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes before you slice it. So when we look at this, you have the end cut. I'm gonna cut that off. Now, the, another important thing to remember is when you get ours, they're gonna be tied up. But what this also does is help keep the, ro the roast together in solid. Will help promote even cooking. But if you look, you got like a nice, as you make your way in the middle, you get a nice rare to medium rare. So then when your guests arrive, right before they show up, you do nothing more than take your truffle butter. And there you go. Finish it off with a little parsley. Dinner is served.